morning, everyone. And it's Friday. You know how we do it on Fridays on Sun Up on Seven. We try to bring you our we, we do our best to bring you inspiration and motivation, and of course showcase Belizean talent. So we have artist Zephyr Nesbit here with us, who came all the way from Barranco. If you know where Barranco is, you know that she made a journey, and obviously we're so <laughs> thankful for making the time to join us here on the couch, Zephyr. Before we get into our conversation, we'd like to do a little check-in. How are you feeling today? Good. I'm feeling good. Good? You're not tired it. or anything from that long travel? <laughs> no, well-rested. Perfect. Love I love it. it, love it. And That's the vibe. again, love your name. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Hoping I don't butcher it, guys. Let's just pray for me here. <laughs> Zephyr, Zephyr. So we got it, we got it. From the end of this show, everybody's going to be able to say your name properly. I'm hoping. <laughs> like, we're going to make a movement. <laughs> but, Zephyr, so you're coming all the way from Barranco. How long have you lived there? Um, 13 and a half years, um, cause I was born in San Pedro, Colombia village. Um, but I moved to Barranco when I was five. So I grew up there. Wow. Nice. That's interesting. I mean, apart from this, the art, what do you, what's your favorite thing about Barranco? Um, the sea. Mm. I, I find it very calming. I like the sea. You go paint by there or no? Um, not really, but I like to go like walk down by the sea. Chill. That's a nice evening, vibe. Yeah. Just to forget about everything that's happening in the world. Yeah. I, I like that vibe too. Yeah, yes. that's pretty cool. I've never been to Barranco, just so you know. <laughs> so been, now you want to take a trip? There. I want to. I've always wanted to go. It has a really historical value, right? Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely beautiful from the pictures that I've seen, but I, I haven't been. So it's it's <laughs> obviously really nice to have somebody from Barranco here joining us on the couch. So it's an inspiration yeah. for you to go. Yes, now. this is your sign. Actually, from Barranco. Um, oh, wow. Because I just went down for a walk by the sea with my sister and she had her camera and then our neighbors show up. So she took a picture of my neighbor. And, um, you just painted it? Yeah. I, I like oh. the picture. So I save it, you know, my phone for like a year. And then when I'm going to look for inspiration, I scroll through and find it again and paint it. <laughs> wow. So wait, so you're one of those artists that can just look at a picture and just be like, yeah, I'll do that. And just like <laughs> paint it? I love that. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And do you also just paint out of your head too? Or is it um, no more like you're watching something and you're going to create something based on it? When I was small, I do a lot of things out of my head. But okay. now we're mostly from pictures. Okay. But sometimes I could take things from like different pictures and put them in a one picture. So. Ooh, like a nice compilation. That sounds <laughs> nice. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. So you just talked about when you were small. So let's, let's go into that. <laughs> when did you start painting when did you say you know what i actually good with this brush or i actually good at this pencil or i could do this well i start painting like a year ago but i draw since before i could write <laughs> so well, interesting it always been something i doodle at and <laughs> practice and get good oh. and then when i start painting like i already had the basics because i'm just so like I, a year and this is how you're painting <laughs> girl Girl. <laughs> like, girl. Yes. No, seriously, because when you said that, year was like, you lying to me on live TV. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. But I'm thinking now the transition of just doodling, drawing, and how we can just go into the realm of painting thereafter and be so good at it. Yeah. What, what, what did it take for you to, to like transition into doing this masterpiece that you're doing? Uh, I think my sister. Um, cause she got into painting before me oh. and then she had paint around the house and I was like, okay, I'll try it out. Oh, you just borrow her paint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one was like my third one. That's like a year old. Oh, um, it's beautiful. Thank you. So it's kind of like the idea of those self portraits that are so beautiful that you can just take something and make it so, you know, your unique vibe. Yeah. Um, so for people that want to see your work, where can, can they go and locate? I know that some of your work is being presented right now in the Women in Art at the Bliss yeah. Institute, but yeah. for facial, social media, like um, those kind of things. Um, I try to post on my Facebook and my Instagram. Both of them you could find my art on. And is what's the tag, the title? What's your username? Um, on Facebook, it's just Zephyr Nesbitt, my name. And then on Instagram, it's Z-E-P-H-X-X-R. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so it's like my name, but my name was taken. So mm. I put in an X. <laughs> I, I know. I, I've seen that X used so much now. And I'd, be yes. I'd be loving it. I want to ask you about your involvement in the Women in Art Gallery that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about this platform being created for female artists? And what are some of your pieces that you're putting out there? 
Um, I really like it, yeah. Um, when I found out about it, um, I submit five pieces and they picked four of the five. And then one of them already has an owner, so it couldn't, it, it's in the US, okay. so I couldn't show it. So I sent three, and it's um, the one of Destiny Wagner, a self portrait, and a portrait of my friend holding a flower. Okay. Oh, nice. nice. And so for people that want to commission work from you, how does that process go about? They message in, what's the timeline that they would have to be requesting for? Because you know some, next thing you know, somebody birthday and like, oh goodness, <laughs> I want to send this picture in. Please make this happen for how long do they have to wait or so? Um, well, if I'm not busy, it usually would take me like a two or three days to like work on it. Mm -hmm. So I would need to know I would need two or three days for work on it, but I might have to find the two or three days. Oh, so okay, okay, okay. it depends if I'm busy or not. Yeah. So it would just be just to be safe to do it like five days in advance just to tell you I yeah. want to do this so you, uh, you can definitely work that into the schedule. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So I'm, I'm seeing your pieces and obviously I can, I can pinpoint things that make you a different artist but I want to hear it from you. What, what do you feel sets you apart from other artists in, in, in the country? Um, I think I'm very person-based. That um, I like people in all of my paintings because that's what I practice mostly when I was drawing. Um, but I also like to incorporate nature into it. So I feel like I'm trying to still find my personal style, but those are two things I like. I try to put in all of my, my pieces. And so on that same um, note, when it comes to the themes or the, the messages or so forth, because I know art is just a form of expression that you're able to put everything on these canvases, you're able to make the colors come out and people can connect with it. What would you like people to connect with when they see your different paintings? Um, well, something I really like, which you could see in actually that self-portrait, is um, I feel like some people want to make us look too similar. Um, like if you have thin lips, they'll give you full lips. If your face is skinny, they'll make your face fatter. Um, things like that. And I think that because those are like the, the beauty standard, um, but I feel like by trying to meet the beauty standard, we make ourselves look less like ourselves and less original. So I feel like with this one, like I made my ears and eyes a bit bigger because I feel like it was, you know, <laughs> exaggerating the things that make me different and therefore making me look more like myself than other pieces that would have made me look more the generic beauty, what people think beauty is. Love it. And so your exhibit is right now at the Bliss yeah. Um, so people can just go in and when they go in, they can be able to see all your pieces. And could you provide a contact number as well, possibly for if someone wants to, you know, get in touch with you, talk about doing something with you? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, 608-9247. 608-9247. Perfecto. What I, what I got to say, um, Zephyr, is so when I ask you what, what makes your art stick out and make it different, is I'm seeing that you use different... Um, surfaces to do your painting on. Like I'm yeah. seeing a Destiny Wagner one, which is on a board. On a, yeah. on a board. Then I'm also seeing that you use like uh, pencil crayons or crayons. I'm not sure yeah. how you, how you define that. But also, so it's it's not always on a canvas, which is yeah. which is really cool for me to see that, that what you're doing. So this is the Destiny Wagner painting that's at the Bliss, is it? Yes, yes, this one. So as you can see, Ren, like it's. It's on a piece of wood, which is really sticks out from the... Just you know, grab a wood and just like, make it do something, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it came out so gorgeous. Wow. Thank you. So is, so is, that, is that part of your part of your art package yeah. where you would say, I'm going to go and find something that I can paint on? So it, it can be something different every time. Huh? Yeah. Barranco Road has a lot of lumber yards. So it's something... <laughs> scrap lumber is in excess there. So you just... Oh, that is so, so cool. <laughs> like free canvas and it fits into my like natural fill, building natural into my art I like that I, so I know in your biography you talked about you know starting doodling and your work is in you know you like planting but you also like drawing from standard six now my nephew he for some reason I got on spark this late energy <laughs> in him where he goes on the on YouTube now and he draws like off what people are seeing or so. But I know there's a lot of people that do the same thing and they like to doodle and so forth. 
what would you say to like those really young people in primary school that are just like trying to figure out how to draw and what what was something that helped you on your journey when drawing um practice well, a lot of practice but um i actually remember this one time um i was like seven or eight and i me and my mom made a wait for something bored somewhere and i made to try to draw my sister and i get frustrated because you know look like she and i did like oh i don't know why this didn't come out good and my mother like because you did draw what you think you say, you know to draw what you say. And then I like, I feel like that really sparked something because like, <laughs> yeah. your mind oh, wow, play yeah. games with you. You have to really think about what you actually to say. Yeah, and, and you said it earlier that all of us want to kind of fit like a mold of what mm -hmm. the painting is supposed to be. When in reality, is that capturing your uniqueness and what is, yeah. what you want to transmit, but also what is your style in it, right? Very so. Nice. So I, I absolutely love it. The simple fact that you're able to transmit that. But I, I am still amazed that Barranco is your inspiration in a lot of things that you do. From the environment, from what are your things that you can pick up and paint Just on. Just grab some lumber, man. Yeah, no it's, like you, like, it's like you're at the right place for, for yeah. you to keep on evolving as an, yeah. as an artist. And yeah. I commend you for, for taking the opportunity and the advantage of that. So. Yeah. And just speaking on that same involvement, I know you... In a year, you, you're doing like a pro thing here. It's so amazing. Yes, no, yes. seriously. I'm just saying, I'm you. so blown away. This is a year. Like, honestly, if you look, man, I would think that you're, you're doing this for you at wanna, least five you years. You want to do the year least. challenge? Yeah. No, I can't do that. I can't. My instinct, people need work. People need work. It's awful. But what is next for you? Because I can clearly see that you can get a lot done in a year. So what do you see coming for you for the ending of 2022 or going into 2023? Like, what? For you as an artist, how do you want to evolve a little bit more? Um, I think something I've been wanting to do recently but haven't had the time yet is um, a big, bigger painting with many faces. And usually it's just like one or two, maybe three faces. But I want to do like a scene, um, maybe bigger from a settlement day or something like people that dance with movement and lots of faces and expressions. Because I don't do like a really big piece yet. Mm, okay. So I feel like the next thing I would be excited for do that. So that's, that's your fun. next challenge. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's going to be nice. It. Nice big. Yeah. So when you have it ready, please come here. And I know. Let's showcase it. If it's a pound wood, make somebody help you. Because I want heavy for care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need a lot of wood. Yeah, that one. You need a lot of wood. You got this, boo. You got this. Just take some fun. Yes. Some lumber yard. You said it either all over the place. You know where. <laughs> Yeah. But I really have to say thank you so Zephyr, much for coming so much here. For coming from us. so far, Zafir. 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 That was so close. You were close. So yes. close, but so far. Zafir, as, as, you, as you wind down from this segment, is there any shout outs you want to give? Um, you got to shout out your yes, sister. <laughs> shout out my sister that is actually a jewelry artist too. She made these beautiful earrings. Wow. All right. Yeah. Tell just the earring of fun, the girl. Yeah. I just love it. What's your sister's it. name? Let's, let's do it properly. Esperanza. Esperanza. Esperanza Nesbitt. Shout out to Esperanza Nesbitt for being a very amazing jewelry artist. Very and an amazing good. sister because she yes. don't want to give yes. you the paint to we'll make you start. Yeah. So, Shout out to you, Esperanza. Shout out to Esperanza. being an amazing big sister. Uh -huh. or sister. Everybody that's Thanks. watching us okay, in Barranco as well, let's give them a shout out. Yeah, shout out to all of Barranco Village. Yes, you have your very own Zephyr here, which we are so proud of. And I'm sure everybody's proud of her as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Representation. Yes. Because I don't think we are anybody from Barranco yet. We haven't. So you're the first. Yes. Congratulations on that. <laughs> cool. You know, woman's one. Hello. Okay. <laughs> it's exciting. So... Again, thank you so much. And with that, we go to our next commercial break. Remember, if you want any of her paintings, five days in advance notice, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, but again, your names for your, your social medias would be... Zephyr Nesbitt on Facebook and on Instagram, Z-E-P-H-X-X-R. So, yes. So, you can be able to go and check out Instagram or Facebook, commission her work, or just go and admire work. I think that's the beautiful part about, you know being able to embrace artists. Yeah. Like, they have their work posted everywhere. Right. And if you want, share with somebody else and be like, hey, this girl is bomb. She can be able to make an amazing piece for you. But spread the word. And, and that's how we uplift our fellow one excellence. And check, her, and check her pieces at the Women in Art yes, Institution yes. at the moment. So check it out. And if you want, you could give she some wood to as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> she uses it. <laughs> with that, we go to our next commercial break. And when we are back, we're going to be talking about 
food. And so stay tuned for that yummy conversation. We'll be right back.